overshoot curve is the path we're on. We need to get ready. Prepare my bunker. But understand that your plan may fail at first contact. Um, and then you need to adapt to the situation. Turn my mind off. I need to meditate. This meditation is to help you turn off after work so that you can relax in the evening and have a restful, uninterrupted sleep. Rest and relaxation are crucial ingredients of productivity. You can do this meditation soon after you finish for the day to help you transition to home. Or you can do it later on in the evening in preparation for bedtime. You can also do it if you wake up in the middle of the night and can't get back to sleep. All you need is a quiet place, or if it is too noisy to concentrate, you can use headphones. Sit on a chair or on the floor, wherever is comfortable for you. And make sure you have a pen and paper nearby as you will need it later. But for now, just close your eyes and we will begin. You may be feeling like you actually don't even have the time to do this meditation. Real politics. Just because you finished for the day doesn't mean your work is done. This is an experiment. There's still lots to do. And it seems like there is never enough time to do it. It is 100 seconds to midnight. You may also be feeling stressed, restless, flat, or exhausted. Whatever you are feeling is okay. You are safe to feel it here. What is going on for you right now? How are you feeling? Let me make some points that are a little, perhaps a little bit oblique to the the, the, the central question. scenarios elsewhere. Rest and relaxation are crucial ingredients of productivity. I mean, at night it's just so striking. It's just amazing. Rest and relaxation are crucial ingredients of productivity. So you have full permission to enjoy this meditation. This was one of our hypotheses. Overall emissions have not yet begun to decline. Are you planning to meditate? Yeah. Together. We have much work to do. Feel your body supported by the chair or the floor and start to relax. It is faith in the future. It's time to slow down and take some time for yourself. Focus on your breathing. Guilt-free. Feel the breath rise and fall and rise. That's the, the dotted red line. So we're losing carrying capacity because we're living by eroding the biophysical basis of our own existence. Check in with your posture. You want to be relaxed, but 
without price. We are calling on ordinary people. You might want to bring your chest up so that it is facing forward. Wow! And your shoulders down. Then the economies of scale idea. Honestly, it's your bra. Chest up and your shoulders wow. down are crucial ingredients of productivity. If you want to, you can move your head from the side. Side. Up. And down. The world has changed. And enjoy the stretch. Up and down. Occlusion is the productivity. And when you are ready, you can be still again. can wait. Your worries are crucial ingredients of productivity. This is your time. Breathe in for a count of four. And breathe out. And breathe out for a count of four. In. You found that there was an element of truth in this. And out. In. And out are crucial ingredients of productivity. But the reality actually was more complicated and more interesting. Be 
thinking lots of useful things. For example, I need to do this. Oh, must remember this. This would be a good idea. Wow! Because you don't make a note of these things, you are at risk of forgetting them. And the chances are you will keep thinking these same thoughts over and over again to make sure you don't forget them. So you are going to try a different type of meditation. A productive meditation, if you will. Productivity are crucial ingredients of productivity. So you are going to try a different type of meditation. A productive meditation, if you will. to give your brain the processing time that it needs, but crucially, you are going to write down everything you think of so that you can trust yourself that you have captured it, that you will remember it and act on it, if you need to, another time. Let me just switch off your mind. This will mean that you don't have to think about it anymore. It doesn't have to distract you or keep you awake so that you can enjoy your evening and have a restful and restorative night's sleep. So in a moment, I'm going to be quiet and invite you to sit in five minutes of stillness. And every time that a thought comes into your mind, you're going to open your eyes and write it down. Then you will close your eyes and sit in silence again until the next thought pops into your brain, where you will open your eyes and write it down. And repeat like that for five minutes. At the end of the five minutes, you might find that you need more time. You're still thinking of more things. That's okay. Sometimes when I do this exercise, my brain is so full that I need 20 minutes before I feel like I'm done. Time is almost up. You might also need to divide your paper into two columns. And on one side, write down those things that you have to do. And on the other side, write down anything else might be random thoughts or feelings or memories. What? Random thoughts or feelings or memories are crucial ingredients of productivity. You don't need to make extremely detailed lists. Just enough to capture the essence. Just enough to be helpful for you when you look at it tomorrow. So the political marketplace framework began as an ethnographic observation, really. I, I, as, as somebody who is a member of mediation teams, first of all, you know, he saw himself very explicitly as a trader in a marketplace. He was using what he called his political budget, which were the money that he was given by his boss to buy up individuals from the rebel camp and also keep in line his own allies, his own militia. More damage is being done to the future climate of the planet right now than at any previous point in history. Then, we really thought we had more time. We have the technology. We know it makes social and economic sense. At the going rate, and the going rate went up and down depending on, on a number of factors, supply and demand for, for, for the services of our uh, rebels. The Americans were in this market as well. 
We don't need a script. Enough is enough. Um, at that time, he said, was deregulated gangsterism. He wanted it to be a monopoly in which he um, was the, the, the monopoly buyer purchaser of, of these political services. So the theory really is one in which mercenarized transactional politics, that is bribery and coercion, is how real politics works. And the bribery isn't so much for personal enrichment, though that's an element, it's to allow the individual who is being bought himself, and they are almost all men, to bribe his own underlings to keep himself as a viable political business, a political concern. Remember your purpose. Um, so political budget, political market. And this is how provincial governments and a number of other countries has operated for decades. Surely you understand. It'll never be enough. Now, the link to the carbon economy is, 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 is very important. And the oil revenues were channeled into political budgets from the state at the top, through, either directly through discretionary funds or they were they were recycled through construction contracts and so on, which had, which were massively over invoiced and, 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 and the money then went into the party or the security budget. This was the origin of Deming's principle. The next process is the customer. And again, we, um, this, this poses a pattern and, 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 and a set of hypotheses about the links between decarbonization and conflict, which we begin to see in, in, for, in different forms elsewhere. When do you recognize that? We have arrived. Let's get to work. This is um, subglacial meltwater coming out of pressure from beneath the glacier. So this consists mostly of surface melt that's been rooted all the way to the bed of the glacier through crevasses, cracks in the ice, and uh, moulins, which are pipes through the ice. And it's pushed underneath the front of the glacier in this case, pushed deep down below the glacier front and emerges as this, as this spring. It's coming out with incredible force. The fire doubling in size overnight, forcing evacuations from the forest to the sea. We've lost. It's now going bye-bye. Let us all go together. Carbon dioxide, methane, nitrous oxide. We climate scientists who talk about the notion of net zero as a technological impossibility, hence a dangerous trap. The only way to so keep humanity safe is the immediate and sustained radical cuts to greenhouse gas emissions in a socially just way. Soil, the amount of soil, the fertility of the soil, the moisture, permafrost, all the methane that's coming out that's now unstoppable, and then the mass extinction that we're in the midst of and causing. But they are in a position where they can go through planned non-traumatic decarbonization. They have the money. Everybody. Welcome back. That's the end of the five minutes. Look at the piece of paper in front of you. Those are a lot of thoughts that are going round in your head. No wonder it was so difficult to switch off. Now close your eyes. And again, just listen to my voice. Emma? You have taken all go together. These thoughts that were important enough to keep you from being present and enjoying your evening and keeping you awake at night are the crucial ingredients of productivity. They are exactly
exactly where they need to be. And you no longer need to think about them. Tomorrow you will review your lists and decide what needs to happen with each thought. Perhaps just reading and acknowledging them is enough. Or maybe you need to add it to your proper to-do list or schedule it into your calendar. But that is tomorrow's job. The only job that you have left now, tonight, is to thank yourself for giving you the permission that you needed to unwind, relax, and leave work behind you. Take a moment to thank yourself for giving you the permission to be present with your family, friends, or even yourself this evening. And know that by switching off tonight, you will be more switched on tomorrow. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Rest and relaxation are crucial ingredients of productivity. Hey, I want to tell you something. Now I want you to take a deep breath in. Fill your lungs, fill your belly. Take your biggest breath of the day. And sigh it out. And smile. Good night.